So today we're going to look at different VR headsets that are available in the market, starting off from the really simple and cheap, going up to the most expensive. Hi, my name's Cedric Ayers and I do the marketing for Embryonic. Hi, I'm Tom Surtees, I'm technical developer at Embryonic. So we just finished building Google Cardboard here. Yeah, so it this... It like 12 minutes. Yeah, but, so this comes... Google Cardboard comes flat-backed, uh, which is, I guess, one of the advantages of it. It's quite easy to ship. Um, it's very inexpensive. It's around sort of five, five pounds, five dollars even. Um, and it's a headset where you need to insert your mobile phone inside. So once you've kind of built it, which takes a bit of getting used to the first time around, um, you're kind of pretty much ready to go. You open it up. Put your phone in. Close it up. And uh, then you look inside. Enter another world. Enter another world. So obviously this is kind of the cheapest solution on the market at the moment. Um, but it kind of has some disadvantages. Uh, it's made of cardboard. So it's pretty flimsy. Uh, it's not going to survive uh, many different uses. And the other thing, because it's made of cardboard, um, what you tend to get, it's not always a very good fit around your face. When you put in a VR headset, uh, you want to leave room for your, your nose. Uh, in my case, it's quite a big one, so I always kind of find it kind of sticks out a bit, a bit too far. Um, and also, you want to uh, reduce the amount of light leakage that's coming in because it spoils the effect. You really want to be immersed in the experience. And with these cardboard units, uh, there's gaps, so you get light leakage. Um, but, you know, you get what you pay for, and uh, if you really want to have like an entry-level uh, VR experience, then the Google Cardboard is how most people, I guess, uh, experience VR these days. This is, this is a one, so... Goodbye. Right. <laughs> next. <Great>. next up. <laughs> Hey. So this is a, a very similar kind of concept, but they, in this case it's made by um, it's made of plastic, which makes it a bit more durable. This is quite interesting. The cost, but the cost difference between this and the Google Cardboard is not much. I think I've got this one for seven pounds off uh, Amazon. The nice thing about it, it's a bit more sturdy, um, and you have a bit of, of padding uh, around the face on this bit here and a strap. And how this works, it can take uh, any kind of phone. So all these initial ones, you, all, you need the mobile phone to actually run the experience. All this is doing is basically allowing you a way to keep, put your, your phone next to your face and then it has the lens optics that uh, kind of distort the image enough so that you can uh, view the screen that close. So this one has this kind of pull out system. The only problem with it, it kind of feels like you're about to break it. Yeah. It's time, so I kind of feel I might go about to snap it. Um, but this does allow you to insert almost any phone. This is a, a, an S6 in this case. Uh, and then you insert it in like this. Snap it into place. Put it over your head. And uh, off you go. What do you think about that? Pretty good. Yeah. The, the, the big problem with uh, VR headsets at the moment is if really you're with glasses. <laughs> yeah, if you got we both have glasses. The glasses. Yeah, I, I can use it without the glasses because uh, I'm, I'm not I'm not too blind. Uh, but yeah, it's it's there isn't really a good solution for anyone with glasses. Um, but this is quite nice. I think this was a, a Chinese manufacturer. Um, it's not branded or anything like that. And, and again, there's quite a few different variations in the market. You can find them on eBay or Amazon. Um, and how many embryos for a... <laughs> This is definitely better than the uh, Google Cardboard. Um, I would say this is like a... Can I have a half an embryo? Yeah, yeah. Can I have two and a half for this? Two and a half embryos. Two okay. and a half embryos. We'll link yeah. this all in the description below if you want to buy it. Yeah. Okay, next step. This is a bit of a step up in price now. So now we're looking... This is a Samson uh, Gear VR. And this is their new model. The first model... Um, was designed for the Galaxy Note 4, 
and this one's for the S6. This retails for around 150, so we've definitely stepped up a, a, a price notch here. Um, but this is a really nice piece of equipment, actually. Um, you can really just tell the fact that they've really thought about it's solid plastic, it's got nice foam, it's really comfortable. Um, and the only thing about this one is that you, it only works with the Samsung S6. So you can't just put any foam into it, which is a disadvantage. As I happens, I have one here. So you just uh, slot off the back. Watch that go, go exploding. You insert your phone, and it's got a little uh, connector here. So it, the great thing is that the phone knows that it's connected Remove to the Galaxy. And it. Yeah, okay. And you try. You have to. That's the only thing you have to. You have to unlock it. So it's talking to me. Clever, eh? So you need to unlock your phone before putting it in. Exactly. But it knows that you're putting it in and you'll get a VR start screen. That's right. So here we go. I'll put that into the Samsung. Click it in. I'll take off my glasses in this case. It's got some Velcro strips along the side. And this is uh, 150 pounds. I think, yeah, around that. So for the Americans or Canadians in the yeah. audience, that's around three hundred dollars, two hundred, three hundred dollars. Yeah. And there you are. And 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 the really great thing about this one, uh, well, there's a couple of really great things about it, because it knows uh, Samsung really thought about the user experience on this. So when you put it on, it boots automatically into a special virtual reality uh, menu system. Uh, they've got an app store in there that you can navigate. They've got demos on there, so you can access all your virtual reality apps straight within there. Super simple to set up. Um, if you have a nice thing, they've got this uh, focus ring here, which should just adjust the focus because everyone has a slightly different uh, eye position. Um, and I should say the other disadvantage is uh, we should probably talk a bit about interactivity. Here. Yeah. So um, with a device like this, uh, once you put your phone inside, you haven't got access to any of the, the touchscreen. You can't use the touchscreen because it's, it's inside the device. So the problem with a lot of uh, VR apps is how do you then kind of interact with it? Um, if you've got a device like this, then the only real way to interact with a VR app is just by you looking, using where you're, where you're looking. And if you want to say, make, which is okay if you're just looking around, but if you want to say move around in a virtual environment, then you need to have uh, like a, a Bluetooth joystick or something mm -hmm. like that to control, which uh, is another additional expense. Uh, with the Samsung uh, Gear, they've um, put in here a touchscreen, well, not touchscreen, sorry, so like a touchpad. So you can actually sort of navigate and do, you can do mm. swipe controls, so they've got a back key, um, you can tap it for interactions. Um, what's they got here? I think they've even got, yeah, this is another great thing. They've got a charger socket here, so you can actually charge it while it's in the device. Charge your phone while in VR. Yeah, it's super comfortable and uh, there's no light leakage. Um, so I reckon this is pretty good. I like this Would one. Would you use this uh, for, with a client? Yeah, definitely. I think uh, if we're looking for a mobile experience, uh, this is this is as good as it gets for the moment. Um, so yeah, well done, Samsung. Good piece of kit. If you've got 150 quid. Congratulations, Samsung. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to give that. I'm going to give that a. Uh, you know, I'm going to give that a five. Five embryos out five of five. Embryos, yeah. That's our first five-star embryo yeah. we've ever done. Right, so the then next up, the next one, yeah, what have got? The classic DK2. So this is what this is the this is the Oculus. Um, this is the one you've probably seen in lots of the uh, photos on the web going round. Cheers. The thing to remember about the Oculus is this is a prototype unit, it's, uh, it's a DK2, uh, before there was a DK1 which was a bit bigger and squarer, uh, DK2 uh, is a lot better than the first version that came out, but this is still actually uh, a year old I think now, and um, the new version, uh, the consumer version of this is slated for release at some point in the new year, I'm not sure exactly when yet. Um, so this actually is kind of out of date technology already but 
this is the best you can get for the moment. Come next year, we should hopefully have much. And why is it the best you can get? Um, because essentially this is available for developers. So if you're a developer, you can sign up and you can buy one of these. These retail for about £250. Um, and they provide a really, they've got like a SDK, so they've got a good uh, development platform, platform for it. And it's a good, it's a nice piece of kit, you know, it's got, it's, it's properly well made. The, the difference about this one is it's actually got a screen inside already built in. That's why the price difference is. So you don't need your mobile phone uh, to insert it in. It's all inclusive unit. However, it does need, the graphics are not computed on this headset. So it needs to be plugged into a PC. So the overall expense of running this is much kind of higher because uh, you've got a £250 uh, unit. Which I don't know what the retail price of the next one will be yet. And then you need to have a, a good kind of PC or computer to drive the display. Yeah, because you can't use your laptop with an Oculus Rift. They don't recommend it at the moment. So I, I know that you, some people can get the, it working, but um, in general, what, um, what Oculus recommend is a uh, is a particular, it's basically a high-end gaming PC, so like a GeForce uh, GTX 970, 980 card. And they're quite expensive, like they're, they're sort of 300 quid for the card, and uh, plus the PC. So you're kind of looking, you, you kind of spent uh, £1,000 on, on a PC just to be able to use this. Yeah, so if, if you want to go show your clients, you have to bring your huge desktop and this. That's right, so yeah, it's not the most portable, portable system. However, it does provide the highest end experience. So because you've got all that computing power on the PC, you can do some really kick-ass graphics in this. And so this is what you want to go for, for the, the, the wow thing. The other important thing about the uh, Oculus, that the advantage it has over the, the Samsung, is that with all these other devices, um, they can tell where you're looking, like they, they can tell the orientation of your head, but they don't know your position. And the Oculus comes with a camera, this camera. And this camera normally sits on the screen or on some fixed point. And then it knows the position of the headset. And this is important if you want to move around an environment. Um, obviously it's tethered at the moment, so you can only go as far as your cable will allow you to. Um, but that means that you can, for instance, like crouch down, stand up, walk a bit to the side. And that really adds a whole level to the feeling of immersion. Um, and of course, the great thing about this, because it's, it's mains powered, you don't actually have to worry about it running out of batteries. Um, so if you've if you're kind of got a high, if you're on a high end experience and you've got a bit of budget and you're building an installation, this is currently the best way to go. Um, if you want something that's hyper mobile, I would go with the, the Samsung. Uh, great. Well, that's a review of these four VR headsets. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Tom. Well, thank you. And we hope you like it. Like and subscribe to us.